Be sure to convince them to take it, regardless of what they say. I'll do my best. All right. So, we got to give these magic pockets out. All right, let's go do it. We'll get one to this guy, Algaro. What's this? Ah, so you also believe in the prophecy. <laughs> Keep it. I won't have any use for it. What? Just take you it. Mean, you don't believe in the prophecy? No, no, I believe in the prophecy. But I also believe in another story. The you story says that people once lived in the ocean. They were one with the ocean and couldn't live apart from it. But as time wore on, people desired to live on land and developed blood vessels, encapsulating the sea within their bodies. Thus could people set foot on land. So, if you ask me, when the water rises and takes us all, it'll be like we're going home. Makes what? sense. We hadn't heard that one before. But people can't live underwater. They'll die. You should probably still take it. <sighs> all right, I'll take it. I guess I just feel that being dissolved into the water doesn't necessarily mean death. Wonder if Paimon can fit in the bag. All right, let's talk to this guy. Etienne. So you're the blonde traveler that everyone's been talking about. Yep. My apologies for not recognizing you earlier. I'm sorry. Oh, a magic pocket? Seems you really thought of everything. I guess it's better to prepare for the worst and hope for the best. Thanks. Uh, please, also thank the magician on my behalf when you get the chance. No problem. Well, that one was easy. Then we gotta go over here. We got a sailor here. A couple of pallets, so now we gotta get aboard the ship. Let's talk to Galathy. Huh? <laughs> I don't want that thing. The way I see it, if the prophecy's true, it's still gonna be a long time before the water can cover everything. Life is all about living in the moment. What use is there in worrying about the future all the time? We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. You should still take it. You never know when it'll come in handy. Oh, all right, fine. But thanks. It's just that... If I start moving, that means I've already given up on the life I have now. I'd really rather not. Well, I see her in a boat, so the boat would just rise. All right, we gotta go talk to Liney. There he is. Oh, you already handed out all of the magic pockets? <laughs> yep. That was fast. So, what did people have to say? I bet you heard some uh, interesting opinions. Yeah, no kidding. Yes, but that will change once disaster strikes. I know they'll change their minds, so it's only right to help them prepare. Is there Maybe you know else something. You need to do before we leave? Yes, one last thing. I have the magic pockets made by a workshop in the Court of Fontaine. Since we're out and about, I was thinking about bringing him some more materials. So, you want to collect materials? Just tell us what the materials look like and we'll help! Many hands make light work! Oh, that would be much appreciated. We'll need some Romaritime flowers. I what remember seeing them near the waterfront on the east side of the harbor. Alright. So we gotta go over here. Oh, 
Could have used them. Hmm. It seems we have to use Hydro to collect for maritime flowers. Okay. Let me um switch characters. I'll use Zing Chu. All right. Switch. Chivalry will never die. Rain outlines your fate. And since he has a shield. All right, we'll go back and talk to Limey. A couple extra wire I'm out here. Never know what upgrade stuff I need. Can I get one that. What kind of wood is this? Let's check. Cypress wood. Time to act. Might, might as well hit these trees real quick too. Maybe I'll get some materials later to make something. Hope I have to do this. But that's the one I just hit. Oh, can't hit that one. Let's hit this one and we'll go talk. Alright, let's continue the story. You made quick work of that. I can tell you're an experienced traveler. I've also finished collecting a few here. Maybe Good. next time you'll feel like helping too, Lynette. No way. I'm in power saving mode today. Otherwise, I fear I may not have any energy left for the performance at the Opera House. Power saving uh, mode. I fine. gotta use that excuse. Though the performance is still a long way off. Now that we're finished here, we should get ready to head back to the Court of Fontaine. So, we're going to the Court of Fontaine before we head to the Opera House? Good. I thought it was the same Kinda place. Want a tour of Fontaine's largest city and try... Oh. He just basically shut us off. Wait, shh. Have you noticed that person over there? The young girl. Okay. notice anything <laughs> she's obviously a thief magicians and thieves oh. practice similar methods we divert attention and a distracted audience is one that won't discover what you're really doing watch her movements carefully light a hand Keep your voice down. We need to think of a way to catch her, but it seems she's very alert. Perhaps we should split up. Hey, what do you got in mind? You two can ride the lift over there and wait up top. I bet that'll be her escape route if she tries to run. All right, understood. All right, let's go. All right. How do I find the lift? Ah, so there are steps on both sides. Nothing like being a noob in a new city. Go to the upper top place. Oh, the doors close and I go up. Voice back to the traveler. Then she's the heroine in this story. Makes things easier. Well, that's one long elevator. Oh. Okay, we can hit the Archon statue. 
Yay, we learned a little bit. Oh. Oh. So I know where we're at. Okay. Did light just started flooding from the SGO 70? Seven? That's so weird. A rush of water. It is certainly the nation of the Hydro Archon. So even the statues. Okay. Oh, I feel like I'm using my gills to breathe. Good. All right. So somehow I got the ability to breathe underwater. Uh, so they're talking about I got the build, you know, like I just said. So Paimon's complaining about her not being a, wanting to swim. All right. Well, let's go back to the course. All right, there's a gameplay tutorial if we need that. So now let's continue the story. Also, uh, we look. Uh, oh, we gotta go to the front of the building. Over here. All right, let's see what happens next. There she is. See the thief over there behind me. Yeah, Paimon, just point her out. Time to make an arrest. Oh no! Did she notice us? She started running the other direction. What should we do? Should we chase her? I just wait. Rushes up the line. You're right. She might also be trying to lure us away. Maybe. You wait, but there's no sign of the thief. Nothing's happened for a while now. Paimon wonders if Linny caught the thief. Who knows? Uh, well, let's go find yeah, Linny. Let's go. Alright, so what do we got here? We got a... Oh, they have an aqua bus here, which is interesting. I found the book, Fables de Fontaine. And now we'll go outside. Oh, there he is. Are you sure that's all she took? You should check to make sure you're not missing anything else. N no, that was all. Oh, I can't thank you enough. I didn't notice a thing earlier. Anyway, I should be going now. Thanks again. Wonder what she took. Oh, were you returning with the thief had stolen? That's right. Pity I wasn't able to catch her. She distracted me by dropping the thing she stole on the ground. By the time I looked back, she was already gone. I saw the general direction she went, but Linny twisted his ankle, and I needed oh, to no. make sure he was okay. Oh, did you get hurt, Linny? Hey, he twisted his ankle. I'll be all right. It's just a twisted ankle, that's all. In fact, it's feeling better already. If you want That's to pray at quick. being a hero, at least try not to get hurt doing it. Imagine what would happen if you managed to derail our performance as a result. Yeah, Lynette, <laughs> tell him. You're right, you're right. Sorry, Lynette. <sighs> I have to admit that the thief was even more skilled than I had anticipated. But at least we were able to get the stolen items back, so it wasn't a complete failure. Yep. What a slippery little thief! Guess things turned out all right in the end, though. Initiative paid off. I agree, right. Paimon. Let's put this little detour behind us. We should go to the court of Fontaine now. Let's go. All right. Now we gotta go back on the other side and ride the aqua bus. And looks like they're gonna put us on there. Oh. 
Go so fast, Paimon. Oh. So we ride this thing to go into the city? What an ingenious way to get around. People in Fontaine really know how to use water. This is an aqua bus. It allows people to travel between several key locations around Fontaine. It's pretty convenient, but the ride can become a little dull after a while. The scenery is always the same. That's why it's better to travel with friends. So you See. mean it's still boring even when I'm riding with you? <laughs> nice. Uh, uh, no, that's not what I meant. It's just that, uh, well, you don't really talk that much. Besides, it doesn't really feel like a real trip when it's just the two of us. It's the same as being at home. <laughs> Hmm. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, don't try to figure her out, Line, and you'll get yourself in trouble. <laughs> it's about time for us to leave. Let's get on board. Okay. Uh. Who's that? Who could it be? Huh? What? what? Charlotte. Paimon! Charlotte! Yep. Oh, I never guessed I'd bump into you all riding the Aquabus. In the story of my life, this is big news. What are you doing in Fontaine? I didn't hear anything about you paying us a visit. Yeah, it's quite the coincidence. But as travelers, we're always on the move. It's not surprising that nobody knew we were coming. Uh, though we still have no idea how the Hydro Archon knew about us. Oh, let Paimon introduce you to our new friends! Oh, no need for introductions, Paimon. I would recognize the great magician Linny and his assistant Lynette anywhere. Cool. I wouldn't be much of a reporter if I didn't know who they were. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Charlotte, a reporter for the Steambird. Nice to meet you. From the Steambird, huh? We've often relied on your paper to promote our performances. It's an honor to meet you. <sighs> now that everyone knows each other, Fontaine suddenly doesn't feel like such an unfamiliar place. I don't know. So, what Still have you been know. up to lately, Charlotte? Any big news? Not too much. When there isn't any breaking news, I mainly cover the trials at the Opera House. You can still manage to keep readers' attention as long as you tell things from a clever enough angle, even if it's the same old topics. For example, reporting on how a scammer once deceived vulnerable girls into relationships, or how a financial criminal was once so poor that they ate a single piece of bread for five days. Wow. That's pretty... That's... Alright. Yep, that would definitely get my attention. Ah, you're right. Seems you know me pretty well. What I'm really after is exclusive, sensational news pieces that could shake the country. These smaller stories are a waste of my talents. Oh, I just remembered. I've been following a case lately. Well, a series of cases, actually. You mean the serial disappearances of young women case? That's right. These stories are the talk of the town right now, and it's probably the most mysterious case we've ever seen. That sounds if pretty I'm screwed the first up. With a draft ready to publish when the case is finally cracked, and it's the headline story in the Steambird. Oh, when that happens, I bet all the other reporters will shed tears of envy. I've already gathered all kinds of materials. I just can't wait for the truth to be revealed. So, what is the serial disappearances of young women case? You mean the culprit hasn't been found? That's right. The first missing girl case happened almost 20 years ago. Wow. And ever since, after a period of time, another girl disappears. What the cases have in common is that the girls are all of a similar age and that they've all vanished without a trace. But the scariest part is that to this day, none of the girls have ever been found. Many That's suspects scary. have been arrested over the years in connection with this case, but shortly after each arrest, Another disappearance would always happen. Oh. 
So maybe you can set a trap. Yes, it's possible. But either way, I believe that every case has some precise truth behind it, waiting to be exposed. Yes, I agree. And at the very least, the family of those missing girls deserves some sort of explanation. <laughs> I just imagined for a second what I would do if Lynette were to suddenly disappear. I'd pay any price to get her back, and then find a way to track down the culprit. Please don't imagine that, Linny. <laughs> You continue talking on the aqua bus. Before you know it, you're arriving at your destination. Oh. Hey, we're almost there. Look. Wow, look at the scenery. Nice, awesome underwater life. Great visuals. Interesting one. Looks like we're here. Ooh. Now does it turn around so we can get off? We'll find out. Well, I really enjoyed chatting with you. Life should be full of pleasant little surprises like this. Yeah, us as well. The ride went by too quickly. Oh, I have an interview to get to. I should get going before I'm late. Nice seeing you, Charlotte. Okay. Hyman hopes we can chat again soon, Charlotte. See ya. <laughs> Bye now. Oh, be sure to stop by and see me at the Steambird when you have time. You got it. What a tough job. Always running around and interviewing everyone. <sighs> well, where should we go now? If you don't mind, how about we stop by my home first? Besides, I still have all the materials we collected. Got it. Sure, we wouldn't mind at all. This city is so huge, Paimon wouldn't know where to start anyway. <laughs> 